and so I've added the I drew a package and you could sort of but I'm going I'm, I'm, this this part isn't quite finished yet because uh, there are also some kind of special features about this repo because you could um, the problem is that you cannot uh, you can you cannot directly copy and paste it in in most cases if I go to control V here it doesn't sometimes it doesn't occasionally it doesn't work but if it uh, use the upper and down arrows. That's just just for beginners. Everybody knows that, right? Then and then and then if you can directly, you can actually directly uh, assign things here and like uh, uh, let's do some more complicated thing. If you uh, if you actually assign uh, some. Let's say uh, uh, these are basically numbers, and let's start with um, exploring some numerical calculations. Uh, it's not a very serious numerical calculation text. Uh, so if I get, uh, how do I define? A, let's say how do I define an array in beta? You go if I access an array, then access a assign number to it and use uh, commas to separate them and what it will appear is that it's going to give it's going to give you a row uh, sorry a column matrix a, a vector and you could have another array uh, let's just call that x2 and you could have, have that by by the uh, space and what's, in, and what's important is that you could um, uh, use uh, most of, of your MATLAB syntax, or it doesn't matter if you don't uh, know uh, if you don't know MATLAB. So this uh, this semicolon for not printing also works in Julia, but uh, but. Uh, it's it's not in it's not in all cases that Julia are going to print the thing. Uh, Julia usually uh, usually what we expect to see is that Julia print the uh, the last the the last output. So uh, instead of using uh, if you're not explicitly use print, so uh, let's say uh, if I start. Um, Uh, so let's begin with some basic data structures. Um, this uh, array is it says an, uh, a six element array integer sixty four one, and this is integer sixty four two. So they are basically all the integer functions. But I, but if I change that a little bit, let's let's just say uh, I want to assign the first element. Note that uh, Julia counts from one to 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 some point of numbers instead of instead of using this, and it gives it an and it give it an error because uh, a a data a data type because uh, an, an array uh, at its first sense is going to be uh, with fixed uh, data type because. If that is an array of integer sixty four one, then uh, then the then all the values uh, you could imagine that there are is creating uh, when this one is created, the computer assumes that uh, oh I have to left space for this this format of the number uh, at uh, for for each entry, so that basically. It doesn't work if you. It doesn't work if you assign a flow number to it. But uh, instead, um, if I assign two here, it gives us two, and so the, the value is changed. And you you can see that in, uh, indexing also works as uh, for uh, works for sorry works for uh, assigning values uh, for the 
for the same reason, and for the, for the same reason you could read others from an array. And what's interesting about it, the one dimensional uh, indexing is actually you can use this end to, which means which is just uh, print out the last value of uh, this array. Right, 23 is. It's not very. That's not surprising. So, but uh, so, so, so here's here's the problem. How do I assign? The, how, how how do I create an array so so that um, um, if I assign different, if I assign certain values to it, it doesn't um, let's say. If I as, uh, if I assign different number to it, it's not gonna create problems. So I can actually specify this by using by declaring that it is a array with uh, float sixty four, which means it's a double double position uh, float number. Uh, a more sophisticated uh, a more sophisticated um, description, which probably you don't want to see for in, in this case, it's if you type help array, and you could uh, actually assign, uh, uh, you should actually specific, sp sp sorry, sp sp specify the uh, data type and dimension number, and the, um, the uh, and then and you could uh, assign uh, the the corresponding thing that's filled to the array and the dimension of it. For the same reason, we can. Uh, for the same reason, we can do some. Let's say, let's stop using S for everything. Let's use my vector. Um, it's an array of numbers, so that's a more abstract class of this. Its uh, number is a union of. All the things that count as numbers, right? And uh, so that, that includes integer, integer 64, you can just do 33, and, 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 and uh, flow number, etc. So it's a one dimensional thing, it's, it contains, well, let's say it contains 1.16, maybe 1 plus, uh, 1 plus. One plus i, and that will actually work because uh, assuming it's a, it's a sort of certain kind of number, it's aware that uh, we might need to create space for all of it. But and and if I assign some more complex thing to it, it's, it's still going to work. But uh, what it, 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 another case is, is that is, uh, if I my second vector. Let's just call it two. It's an array of um, number one. And what if I don't have? What if I do not have a, a enough complicated thing to it? What if I just have one? And if I assign, sorry, the uh, doesn't. Oh, the dimension does, doesn't match, so use comma to specif uh, specify it's a column major, major, otherwise it's a row major. Right, so that's, that's there's no problem. But if I assign, assign things like my vector, if I assign the third element to it, or you could even go and minus one, which is a more, just a more fancy or creative or Overly complicated way of doing this uh, is a one plus four. I am um, that will still work because it says number one. Uh, otherwise, if you otherwise if you just specify my vector, sorry, uh, we are we are going to assign the my vector two of the second last. Thing also to uh, also to one plus I am which is which is give us the which is giving me the correct answer. But if I have a my vector three, 
let's say I defined from the very start it, con it, it contains one uh, one dot note there is a blank space here and one, one, one. and what's the what's the type of it what's the type what's the type of my vector three Float 64 one. So the most complicated thing in this one is this float 64. So this equals to this is basically just saying 1.0 in the in the abbreviation. And uh, if I assign my vector three uh, to the uh, for the first value, for, sorry for the third value to say one plus nine, and that will not work because because they only give space for a phone number uh, you could well you could say there are special cases here which you could create a, a data structure that can, contains a very general a very general a um, let's say my, my, my general a more general vector Typing is not quite good enough to. Uh, uh, so, so it's gonna be array. And what's important is you can put anything there and the swire. And is you could have you you could have a, like more crazy thing like missing zero. Uh, can't put in the zero one plus I am sorry. It's called any, not any, not anything. And actually, what's what's very um, generous about this vector is that you can instead of assign, assigning a single data type. This actually still works because a vector is just a list of things. Uh, if I define the data type as numbers, it's a list of it's a it's an array of number. But if if it's a array of anything, it can link. To, I mean, it can link everything. It can you know arrange everything in the in the column. That's not a that's not a very fancy problem. And if I assign the first value of this array to some more complex stru structure, and if I print out, let's inevitably write a for loop there. So, by the way, I'm demonstrating for loops in a very <laughs> strange way. Gonna print there are more clever ways of doing that, like the dot operator, but I'm just doing it in a in the very primitive way. Print that so the first so it's so it's showing that it says the values, but uh, unlike uh, just like you know, just like Python, you could use array for storing uh, array of things, like the vector of things. But in Julia, you do not have to. In Julia, you do not have to use arrays of array to to represent uh, matrices. Matrices. That's 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 not needed. That's not required because we get uh, we have we can have matrix. If I go help matrix, you could have two-dimensional matrix. You could have uh, one-dimensional vector. These are just uh, this. This is not very different from the array because it's it's it just has a predefined dimension. But I could actually do my matrix is uh, a matrix is a matrix. Yeah, makes sense, and 
it contains double fold and has two rows, three columns. Okay. And we're gonna fill the numbers in so. So we have six values, oh, sorry, <laughs> too many parameters for, for type. That's just two dimensional. And we're gonna reshape this form to a two by three. Sorry. <laughs> that doesn't work. Sorry, that's two. <laughs> Maybe we took this version. Right, that's a, an array of fold 64 of uh, two dimension. But a matrix is a very. It's still different from the vector because if I go. If I count the size of my vector. shows that this has three as the first dimensional number and it's, it's a one dimensional thing and my matrix the size of my so by default it's giving you a two dimensional thing but there is one special case of it if I if I if I can't use the size to print out the uh, the the number of rows and columns or hyperspace rows and columns uh, numbers in, in, in this case if I if I have a very special thing which is a row vector you can create this by using space uh, it's it's two dimension by default but it's it's still one dimension you and, and everybody knows that and you could transpose this so transpose And this is by row. That's not a that's not a very fancy thing. So we've uh, we've uh, mentioned the matrix and matrix and vector uh, things here, and uh, lots of things are very similar to that of MATLAB. And uh, but there is something that are uh, maybe not too different from that. If I have two arrays and I want to add them, add them together, and their their dimension matches uh, matches the it, their, their dimension match, so they there's, there's no problem of doing that. But uh, instead of using two vectors, if I add one to this, there will be a missing error because. They don't have the same dimension, so um, to one way of doing this is to broadcast. So how to how do this? Like you put a dot between, uh, you put a dot before the operator, or you put a dot after the function name of the bracket. Let's, let's just do that, and it's it's working. So what you could what what, what uh, the other thing you could do is that you define a certain type of function so you haven't come to, up to function yet but you could sort of don't worry about this stage if, you, if, you, if you're not, not familiar with the function is uh, so this function means uh, uh, given the next uh, output is x plus one so so and it works for Types and because I didn't restrict the um, the time type, so if I go, if I use um, sorry, if I use this, it, it won't work. But if I put the dot after the f, then it's gonna work. And everything, like everything, everything is just. Um, 
broadcast and it's, a, it's like a generalized uh, broad, uh, so so this dot this dot operator you say it's like generalized uh, the thing to broadcast one value to every value of the larger uh, more complex thing all right what about uh, matrix for multiplication like will that work well it looks like it's gonna work but uh, this by default means dot mat uh, multiplication so to do this there are two ways. First, you transpose transpose one of this. Sorry, <laughs> got it, got it wrong. Transpose the first one. Right, and it's giving you a 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, this, um, so, so this could be different if you, if you transpose the second one, which is not very, which is not surprising either. So you get 8, but there is uh, with that, with the dot uh, with the dot operator, you could uh, get get this more simplified with the matrices. Like if I go, just do the same thing. If I go dot times, and this means element by element. Uh, sorry, element by element. Um, uh, the multiplication, and you could take the sum of this, and it's it's not it's not too sim simplified. Uh, it's uh, it's just a trick that uh, you could use uh, dot multiplication to avoid writing for loops, avoid using uh, lots of other things. But if you if you can use matrix, then then, then use them. Uh, all right, so uh, can we get? <laughs> If I get a vector, uh, let's don't play with vectors, let's play with some more complicated stuff. Um, a x that is, that is more complicated, so it has rows and it has columns. Sorry. Uh, what? So it has multiple rows, maybe right. So if you put a semicolon there, it's gonna give you a two by seven array. Now um, this array is different because. Um, it has 14 elements which you could count from you use size to print out the size of this array is length so the length basically flattens it like uh, stretches it out and then see uh, how many in total is the, uh, count, the count of the count of the number I get 14 elements, then how many ways can I arrange them? Then? Like, let's just. Uh, you could go 1 times 14, but you could also go 14 times 1, but you could go like 2, 2, 7, you could go or 7, 2. But, um, if I can, I can transpose it, if I transpose x. So this is just printing out the transposed value of x without changing the x value itself, because it doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have a um, the, the 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 mark on it. But what if I what, what if I don't want it this way? I, what if I want uh, this to be the first row 
first column, second row, first column, and third and third row, first column, fourth row, uh, fourth row, first column, and use this to create a two by seven array. Well, I could do this by this, but uh, the better way is to reshape. So reshape x value seven two. Now this is working. And oh, does it does it work with tumbles? Yeah, exactly. So uh, a lot of functions are 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 written in this way, and it takes a tuple of of of, of numbers. Tuples are just um, compared to vectors are just another kind of a uh, data type. So to sort of sum up here, the um, matrix matrices are matrices and, and and vectors. Matrices and vectors are just uh, subtypes of uh, kind of subtypes of arrays. And a array is just a, it's just an array. It's it's a, 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 a it's just organizing. Uh, objects, maybe numbers. Uh, if uh, if they are numbers, they are matrices, vectors, hyper matrices, uh, or they could be in other data type. But they must be in a grid like uh, a matrix, uh, a, a, a grid like uh, a structure. It cannot have, uh, it can have list like structure, but mainly what is used for is like this grid like structure. Uh, so, you may, uh, you, if, so if you think of it, uh, it's like uh, uh, so a square or cube-like uh, visualization. I can't really imagine this without uh, much visualization thing. So, uh, so uh, the whole point of uh, the the whole point of uh, those um, data structure is just uh, uh, organized. Things in a in a in a in a better way, uh, and I could go further if I put a bracket and put one two there, and it's it's showing me it's a it's it's giving me that it's it's printing out the the exact uh, component, and, and there's no syntax error in this. Uh, which means it's, there must be something. So if I go type of one, one, two, get, it, it's, really, it's a tuple. So a tuple is. Um, so can I. And it's, it's not much different from a, a, a list of thing, but you, 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 you could have. You could have some complicated things on it. And can we have missing? Yeah, you could have missing. And you could have x. And you could have five vectors in it. See, see that? So it's it's very it's very convenient. It's pretty convenient. And if I if I get uh, my vec vector two and have a couple of, have a lot of fun that's called naming my tuple. Sorry. Uh, we should assign a value to it. I forgot. Right, so that's 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 pretty cool. But uh, you could read value from this tuple tuple or but it's just a very similar index. Because since they are nested, we could because uh, if a my table of n minus one is this one, and if I if I if I subset this one further, second sorry, if uh, it's always a good idea to put a it's always a good idea to take put it in the brackets. So it's reading the second value of the second last thing in my table. Mm. Which is one plus one i. Now, now this is uh, how basically tuple works. Um, there, uh, 
can but can I append values to it? Like sorry. Uh, maybe before this uh, we are going to have a look at the if I can assign certain things on it because uh, in comparison to like if I assign the first value of the of my toggle Oh, we can't do this, but we can do... We can do this. So we can, so we can, we are not able to, we are not able to uh, assign value to the, uh, with this index of the uh, toggle because it's, it's pretty fine and it, uh, work for any of it, it won't work for any of those uh, elements it's, it's like it's a bit like that uh, right so it's like it's a it shares some kind of similarities but you could do this thing for arrays but you cannot do this with tuple because so uh, that's probably I guess that's probably tuple is tuple is one of uh, is one of the commonly used uh, data structure for input for the input of the functions because most usually input functions are to be kept and uh, they if it, their value doesn't uh, the, the values doesn't uh, change it's a good idea to it's a good idea to put this as a uh, a record of how you cre create certain result of it, but it's, uh, don't don't worry if I. <laughs> uh, but don't, don't don't worry at this stage. Um, here, here's the thing, and I can create couple of tuples of tuples, like tuple of everything, like you know, tuple of tuple of vectors of. Uh, uh, strings and, uh, and sort of mix it up, but uh, you you can like if I use a type of and and I sort of do this. Oh, I can't I cannot copy and paste this. Uh, if I go type of. Thing. So we created a tub. Uh, we 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 put a tuple inside this uh, to 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 read the type of the uh, the type of function. Uh, so Julia is able to tell you not only the the out uh, the outer part of it, but also its inner structure, which is pretty cool. And you could define this with. Uh, for the multiple dispatch functions, which are also pretty cool, but it's, uh, d don't don't use it too, don't make it too complicated. Uh, that's why sometimes that's why I sometimes need a uh, mutable struct and struct to uh, go uh, object or, or sorry object oriented, uh, just to keep things more organized. Mm. Version of tuples, we have dictionaries. Now, this might seem strange for if you're using this for the first time. So, dictionary, as compared to tuples, uh, can refer things. Sorry, uh, yes, not. 
so um, this uh, uh, so the um, this uh, dictionary as compared to symbols uh, is uh, uh, more commonly used as a uh, kind of uh, just like Python did, just just just, just very similar to Python libraries. But oh, sorry. I've created a pair. <laughs> Sorry, that's. Uh, I wonder why that doesn't work. Uh, let's say x is paired. x is paired to 1, and y is paired to 2. And c. So we need the. We need the equivalent sign and a uh, larger. We call that. What we'll, would we we'll call this? Oh, cool. That's not working. Method or objects of type of. Oh. I got it. Sorry. Oh, that, no, that's a. No, that's a tuple. I, I, I wanted. A, yeah, that's that's dictionary. So to, to so to define a dictionary, you have to use uh, dict and then bracket uh, what you want there. So if I if I want to see the first element or instead of saying I want the first element of my dictionary what if I want to search sorry um, an element that is named X you put my dict and then in a very similar style of indexing with uh, indexing, indexing the arrays you put um, uh, put X there, and it automatically finds finds for you. Uh, just the same thing, right? And, and also, we can, can assign things to that. So let's try assign things things to that. And, and if you let's, uh, assign this to two, so dictionary allow people to assign things. Bring this thing out. But what if I get more complicated things? Right, so that's that's also converting to it's always converting to the same data type, but but just like arrays you could have different uh, types of it if you want the if you want it to be with a more complicated uh, uh, data structure, you could use a more, data, more complicated data structure at the first. And, and do some other things later. So, but also I need to know if it has a number of valid index. So if I put one there it it won't work because it's there's a dictionary. So what if I I'm not very sure if it still works in this version. Yeah, you could actually collect you could actually collect dictionary to an array. So collect is a very very special function, and you could you could collect almost everything, like almost everything that's 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 legal to an array. So to to a vector uh, data type. If I collect my dictionary to array and I want to print out first, it's gonna have a pair. But you, that's that's not what I want. I want 2.5 not x. It's a pair to 2.5. So. We could further examine the type of this. It says it's a pair and it has two fields. Um, you could do like health pair, but I, I remember this uh, because yeah, I forgot about the things. Don't worry about it. This uh, actor. That is <laughs> that's a bad naming, naming habits. Converted.
uh, assign this thing equals to uh, It's important, and what else can I, can I do? Like, if I print out the first value, and if what if I sign this my pair? So this does have its called pair, but uh, we're not going to introduce this uh, any further because it's just a pair. Is you pair certain things to certain things, and if you follow this, this template, nothing can go wrong. And now let's 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 face this. What if I want 2.5 instead of this? You put my pair second, and almost magic. It's not very magically because my pair is a, it's, a, it's just a special, not very fancy structure. Uh, so. That's 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 so far from for the data structure for data structures. Uh, if you get familiar with those data structures, you will notice that there are some very handy things like map things to things and collect. Actually, let's introduce collect a little bit further because it's a very convenient. Uh, very convenient way. As you know, the as you know that the, the an, an array is a very uh, it's a very general, it's a very widely used data type, and and it's 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 a pity if you cannot convert something into to an array. Let's say, what is one 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 hundred? What's the and what's the what's the type of it? What's the type of it? Uh, people use that every time in the for loop, but uh, it's important that we know the data type is a step range 1 to 100 unit range and 1.0.1 step range with length what is I go range So I'm I'm using the list to adjust the length of it, but it's still a set range list, which which means which is just the length space. If you think of this in meta, or if you think of sequence from if you have ever used R, I hope that uh, if you get familiar with that sequence from like uh, from to blah blah blah. That, that works in the same way, all right. And what's important here is that uh, for this type of array, let's say that's my range. That's actually not my range, but it's just a, it's a it's a it's a it's just a use. I'm just uh, using this code to do a little bit of thing. And my range, if I want a second, if I want at the end of it. Uh, it still works, but uh, but what, what what if I want to do some calculation based on that? Like dot two, and you can see that it, that it still, still works. But it, it, but um, if I want to change this a little bit, it's not letting me do so because it's not an array. You can we can't change things from a unit range because it's already defined from uh, one to one hundred. If it's and this it's reasonable because we, we if you're using range as an iterator, then you change some part of it. That's 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 the and the best things happen. So and, and and if you really want to change that, you gotta copy to copy the value to or 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 I convert this thing to. To kind of vector, you can't really converse um, 
in some occasions people would call that coerced this so but it's not very important because they, uh, my uh, new vectors and uh, the axis suddenly is a vector and if, it ve if it's a vector if it's a vector type um, let's just say I create a vector and it has uh, some kind of sorry some kind of allocations uh, it's, taking, it's taking this size but what what time does it take to take Sorry, array. So this this range this range is notably smaller than the vector. Uh, in this case, it's because it's uh, it's not very big to the star structure. It's not making a lot of differences, but it's uh, they occupy different spaces because this is a this uh, the, the range doesn't automatically print out every values of it, but a vector does. So a vector is a is a very generally used thing, and, and since we already assigned, and by the way, at time, it's a, just a macro. Uh, it's just a ma macro to count the the the, the um the time that the certain that certain part of the program runs and uh, give you the memory allocations and the memory takes. Uh, which is not very important. You just think it. You, you just think this as a as a kind of extra thing added to this. Well, actually, it's not. It's, this thing is taking the content of this thing to some some more complicated meta programming thing. But uh, but to use the, but but it it doesn't. It, 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 I mean, it's, there's there's no problem using this as a just just viewing this as a. As an as an macro, so so it's not too, it's not very important. Uh, but this is pretty convenient. It, you got time and ben benchmark, but so far we only got to do vectors. So let's go to vectors by vectors, and and this one, the one, and this. So this is as far as we got to get uh, sort out our, our data structure, and in the in the next section, I'm going to introduce to you about uh, the um, control flow uh, if judgment. Uh, while uh, the for loops, uh, we're not going to use the while loop because we got if break. But if you want to, you can. Um, also, there is no. Um, is there switching in Julia language? I don't know. And, and you are not supposed to use go to because it's a bad programming habit. Although it's although it's used in so many cases that and and used in so many places that we have to depend on today. Uh, right. So that's that's for today.